know, very often we make the mistake of thinking that we don't maybe carry that much sway and that much leverage in heaven. You know, listen, we're small people, we have small mitzvahs, small avoiders. How much leverage can we have already? Let me tell you a mice about that. The story goes that in Lublin, by the Chais of Lublin, the great seer of Lublin, it was during the winter, and it was such a strong winter, there was an onion shortage. Now, the problem is that by the Chais of Lublin, onions was a big deal. It was a big avoida on Shabbos with onions was a big thing. So the story goes that one of the chassidim of the Chais of Lublin, Ramav Tali Rabshitzer, was going to shul Friday morning. As he passes through the shuk, he notices a non-Jewish peasant carrying a huge sack of onions and calling out in Polish, onions for sale, onions for sale. So he goes over to the peasant and he says, I'll buy the whole sack. He gives him some crazy price. Fine. As Rav is getting the money out of his wallet, he says, but you know what? I'll buy from you not just the onions, but your whole outfit. So Rav Tully, what he does is he starts putting on the clothing. He puts on the hat, the jacket, the boots, the coat, the whole thing. And he disguises himself. But not only is he disguising himself physically, Rav Tully Rav Shitzer, He's disguising himself on all levels. He goes to the base medrash of the Chayza and he calls out in Polish, onions for sale. No one can recognize it as Ramav Tali. All they see is uh, what looks like a non-Jewish peasant. And all the Chassidim say, oh, you got onions, it's perfect. Our grand rabbi, the Chayza of Lublin, he needs onions for the Sabbath. So the peasant, Ramav Tali, says, I'll sell it to the grand rabbi on one condition. What's the condition? I want to sell it to him face to face. You have to bring me into his office. I want to sell it to him directly. What's the difference to you? Uh, fine. So they bring him in, and the chayza, with his eyes, can't see that it's Rav Tali. While he's preparing the money, the peasant, Rav Tali, says to the chayza, he says, you know what, I'm a little bit thirsty. Maybe we can make part of the deal is that, you know, you'll give me the money, and maybe a little mashke, a little something to drink. So they take a little bit of alcohol, some vodka, whatever it is, they pour a little cup, and they give it to him. So the peasant says, no, nah, it's not enough. They give him a bottle, a bottle, I'm a shikr. So what, what, what do you want? So the peasant points to the, the closet over there, and he says, I want to drink from that cup. The Chayza had a Kiddush cup. He inherited this from Tzadikim. It was considered to be one of his prized possessions. No one was allowed to drink from it, touch it. It was off limits, the Kiddush cup. But the, the peasant said, you want your onions? I want the Kiddush cup. I'll just drink from the Kiddush cup. The Chayza doesn't know what to do. His prized possession, but he needs the onions. So Chayza says, okay, we have no choice. He goes over, takes the Kiddush cup down, pours uh, the mashke into the Kiddush cup, gives it to the peasant, his heart's ripping out, you know, his mom is ripping up his kishkas in this. And the peasant takes the Kiddush cup, he rips off his costume, puts on a gartel, l'shem yichad, shahakal, nebivari, and drinks the Kiddush cup. And the Chayza says, oh, Rav Aftali, you're smarter than all of us. You were able to figure out a way to get to the Kiddush cup. We don't know why the Chayza wanted his onions, but Rav Aftali realized one thing. I have onions, he has a Kiddush cup. I always want to drink from that Kiddush cup. I'm going to use my onions to get to that Kiddush cup. We don't know why the Rabbanu Shalom wants our mitzvahs. We don't know why. But Lamaisa, with all the malachim, with all the angels in heaven, they can't put a quarter in a tzedakah box. They can't have the mitzvah of guarding one's eyes. They can't have the opportunity to say a kind word to another Jew. Why would God care about this? Why does the Chayza want onions? I don't know. But Lamaisa, we have the onions, and the Rabbanu Shalom has the Kiddush cup of Kais Yeshua Sessa, Veshem HaShemek, or the Kiddush cup of Mashiach, the Kiddush cup of Gula. We have to be able to come honestly and humbly and say to Rabbi Nishan, listen, we're going to bring onions to you. But all we want in response is just take the Kiddush cup off the shelf, give it to Davin Amelach, let him make Kiddush with B'yas Mishay Zakeinu Meher Amen.